Andrew, thank you so much. Nobody has ever, ever given me a gift like this. And I know how much she costs, and I'm mad that you spent that much, but I really appreciate it, and I absolutely love you. <clears throat> we have, she's just called Cocktail Dress in the Barbie Fashion Model Collection. Um, I talked about her in my top 10 silk, silk stones. I don't have, but I wish I did. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, as a lot of you know, I am an architecture major. I am in school. I do not make the amount of money I used to. That's why my unboxings are a lot more spaced out and a lot more thought out. Because I used to just buy shit just to like put it on my channel and unbox it. And now I just, I don't have that luxury. I cannot afford that. Like it's not sustainable for me versus like the money my channel makes, you know? When I do unbox stuff, it's really important and it's stuff I actually want to unbox now. And Andrew, the little Dickens, bought me something to unbox on my channel and I absolutely love it. And I, there's no way I could have afforded her right now. You guys saw in the intro, it is the cocktail dress Barbie Fashion Model Collection Silkstone Doll. That old style packaging and everything where it's like you're getting something old, but it's something new and it just is amazing. She's from 2013, just stupid beautiful. And 2013 is, you know, before they started doing the articulated Silkstone body, so she is on a more classic Silkstone body, which I love, but they're very limited in articulation and can't be posed very well or sit very well. So I do like articulated silk stones, but I also really appreciate the older, curvier, more 50s feeling kind of body style, you know? I've seen her, I've already unboxed her, but I want you guys to be able to see her, obviously like the ribbons are undone, but I want you guys to see her up close and she's beautiful. Let's make sure we don't get a shit ton of glare on her. I mean, <laughs> like, honestly, am I right? This is why I get so frustrated with Mattel, because I know they can do amazing, amazing stuff. And Barbie is my girl. She's the OG. I like lots of other dolls, but Barbie is Barbie, dude. Like... And, like, this line, it just shows me how well Barbie can do and everything. And if they want to increase the price to, like, integrity prices, I'm fine with them increasing the price to integrity prices if they back it up. They, they can do amazing work. I know they can. Anyway, I'm just frustrated because look at this, guys. We don't see this anymore. We don't see quality like this and thought like this. And she's only from like seven years ago. Like that's not that long ago. Barbie, Mattel can do a really good job. And I don't, God, she is just so pretty. I'm just looking at her in the viewfinder. Like, God, girl. Like, damn, Andrew, thank you so much. Anyway, no more than 4,200 made worldwide. She is considered a gold label doll. Let's get you guys a closer look at the packaging and everything, and then we will unbox her. So it is that classic off-white with the blue banner, Barbie fashion model collection. She's just cocktail dress, genuine silkstone body, gold label collection. They have that beautiful black and white photo and then it just gives you all the information it did on the front. And then guys, you can pause right here and read this part if you want. No more than 40 or <clears throat> no more than 4,200 made worldwide. And she is old enough to have the barbiecollector.com label on her, which is no longer a website. Doll cannot stand alone, doll stand included. Fashion designed exclusively for the Silkstone doll body, not for use with other Barbie dolls, colors, and decorations may vary. Here she is out of the box in all of her glory, even like, oh my god, look at her little jewels. They're like sparkling in my ring light. Are you kidding me right now? Um, she does have a hairnet on. 
She does say Mattel 1958 on her neck because she has the nostalgia face mold. We're just gonna go over her articulation really quick. She can move at the head up and down, kind of side to side. She has articulation in the shoulders, the hips, and the kind of like twist and turny waist and everything. She does have plastic on underneath her dress, it looks like, because of the darker color that the material is made out of. We don't want it sinking onto the silk stone skin and staining it. That's a lot of S's. And I'm gay, so I'm sure it just sounds like hiss hiss. Um, God, dude. Like, she's so weighty and just feels amazing. And there are like so many layers right here. Like, I'm gonna show you guys. So we have the original layer on the dress, which I thought this was like a cape in the background, but it's actually just like extra fabric that goes all the way around the dress and everything. And God, it is just so pretty. And then you lift it up and we have kind of like this under piece and it's lace on top of like a satiny fabric and it's just beautiful. And then underneath that, we have like this lacy petticoat that kind of peekaboos out of the bottom. And the lace is so well done. And then underneath that, we have her like dark pantyhose and then the shoes, and those like classic silkstone pumps. I used to call them slingbacks and they're not slingbacks. Sorry about that for like kind of they're not really picking up, they look white on camera, but they're like this soft pinky champagne on the satin gloves. And then of course the classic wrist tag that says Barbie Fashion Model Collection. God, dude, she is just, oh, so beautiful. She has two little satiny bows right here in the front and then the bodice and everything like, like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> like, it it's just so, it's so hard to believe that um, this quality can be achieved by a company that um, is very lackluster in quality right now, but just kicking ass in diversity. And so I, I do like that, like diversity, inclusivity, everything like that. Um, that's really weird. Yeah, I always thought this was like a cape back here because of how the promo imaging was done, but it's just like this big old layer of lace that connects up here to the back behind the shoulders, but is also the same piece as what's up here in the front. That's just really interesting to me. And God, the layering and everything. Like I cannot get over her. Like she is just stupid pretty. Andrew, thank you so much. I I can't even imagine this. It it has just been so hard with school and everything and then being used to making like a certain amount of money where stuff like this was achievable for me to sacrificing my financial stability to go to school and still receiving something like this as a gift is just, it's just amazing. And I really appreciate you, Andrew. This is like, this was just amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I'm absolutely in love with her. I honestly, oh, let's see. <sighs> okay. I was gonna say, I don't wanna like take off her clothes because it looks really hard to get into, but she is held together with metal snaps. It looked like she was sewn into the dress. So I was like, oh, well, I'm not gonna take her out if she's sewn into it, but no, you can um, take off her clothes because she has her awesome metal snaps. So thank you, 2013 Mattel. You did a really good job here. Definitely um, did honor to Robert Best's vision for this doll, unlike you did for that final silkstone. I don't know what you guys did there. I got played. That $175 blue gown Barbie. Oh, you guys played us so good. Didn't give us a clutch. Didn't give us, like, 
a necklace like what like ooh and then just looking at her um anyway guys i could probably keep going on and on and then it's just gonna be really rambly and awful and i'm so sorry i absolutely love her once again thank you andrew like oh my god okay I don't know guys, I'm just gonna keep gushing if I don't stop this video. Thank you so much. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know if you have her, who's your favorite silk stone, all of those things. Um, I love you guys, thank you so much.